Motor Week is made possible by TireRack.com and RockAuto.com. These days, no car company seems to think that its product line is complete without a convertible. While some are as extravagant as the Mercedes 500 SL, others are as humble as the Geo Metro. The latest ragtop to hit the market falls between those two, into the class of Japanese second-string luxury cars, the cars that the automotive press are now referring to as near-luxury cars, cars like the Infiniti M30. The new soft-top N30 adds some zing to the Infiniti line. But knowing how much removing a car's top can compromise its abilities, we had to ask this question. Can a luxury-oriented car without a solid top still be as smooth as its hard-top counterpart? Here's the answer. Before we address structural rigidity and wind noise, let's look at the Infiniti M30's convertible top itself. It's a product of ASC, the company that manages convertible conversions for many major car makers. And like most ASC fabric tops, it closely follows the contour of the original hardtop. The backlight is plastic and thus without a defroster. The top's fully automatic design mimics that of the Mercedes 300-500 SL. But unlike the last SL we tested, the M30's top functioned somewhat sporadically, frequently needing a helping hand. When it did work, its operation was smooth and quick. The soft form-fitting boot cover is large and a bit clumsy when stored in the trunk. To attach it, you squeeze the edge against the lip on the sheet metal. The action is like closing a big Ziploc bag. It takes time, but the fit is perfectly smooth. Top up or down, the M30's conservative lines are well suited to the role of luxury convertible. A stylish spoiler with integrated stop lamp adds a bit of flash to the back end. All M30 interiors have received several minor refinements for 91, though the styling remains angular and a quite dated look. Control markings are now larger and easier to read, and the speedometer and tack positions have been reversed, again making them more legible at a glance. But some of our taller drivers still complain that insufficient travel and the tilt steering wheel block their view of the gauge's top. Comfort has not been compromised, however, with the thickly padded leather seats providing plenty of back support. Headroom is also very good. A driver's side airbag is standard. While the coupe has an automatic climate control system, the convertibles is manual. No matter, controls are simple to understand with clear markings. Satellite controls are provided for the standard cassette stereo and optional Sony CD player. They provided volumes of driving music in our test car. The satellite controls are necessary since the stereo's low dash position makes it hard to reach while driving. As with any four-seat convertible, the space requirements of the top mechanism mean that rear seat and cargo room are reduced. However, two adults can still ride back here in reasonable comfort. In fact, we think only the Saab 900 convertible, also an ASC effort, provides a more comfortable rear compartment. Top up, trunk space remains a decent 11.6 cubic feet. While the high liftover discourages the loading of heavy bags, the compartment is deep enough for a set of golf clubs. The M30 single overhead cam V6 engine uses sequential multi-port fuel injection to make its 162 horsepower and 180 pound-feet of torque. While not overly abundant numbers, they still launch this rear drive platform to 60 in a smooth 9.7 seconds. That's barely slower than the coupe, which is 100 pounds lighter. The quarter mile takes 17.4 seconds at 81 miles per hour. Under hard acceleration, the loss of the top does allow some shake and vibration. However, shifts of the four-speed automatic remain crisp. Handling is controlled by McPherson struts up front and semi-trailing arms with coil springs at the rear. They're mated to Nissan's Sonar suspension system, which reads the road surface and adjusts the shock firmness accordingly. However, on our smooth track, firm shocks were not enough to keep the soft springs from producing lots of roll. As expected, grip was not as good as the lighter coupe. However, we were not prepared for the amount of body flex and shake encountered. The stiffness of the M30 convertible's chassis is nowhere near that of some less expensive ragtops like the Dodge Shadow and Toyota Celica. However, handling, even in emergencies, is gentle. 
Control is easy to maintain thanks to a rear end that floats rather than darts around. On the highway, however, everything comes together nicely. The body twist is hidden behind a ride that is every bit that of a luxury car. Bumps are soaked up well with no rattles. Our biggest surprise, however, was wind noise or the lack of it. Top up, the M30 is one of the quietest convertibles we've tested. Top down, a 60 mile an hour conversation can be maintained without shouting. Stopping the M30 convertible is a breeze thanks to four wheel disc with standard anti-lock. Distances from 60 averaged a short 118 feet. There was no fade nor air from the straight and narrow with only moderate ABS pedal pulsation. In fact, the brakes are one of the best features of the M30. While the M30 is certainly a capable automobile, adding in the pleasure of open air motoring does exact a price in performance and feel, and it comes at a higher cost. The M30 convertible lists for $31,000, $31,895 if you want the CD player. That's nearly $7,000 more than the hardtop coupe. But before you write the Infiniti M30 convertible off your shopping list, remember that it is the only Japanese luxury car that offers a soft top option. Main competitors Lexus and Acura have no comparable models. We think the closest American car is the Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme convertible. It will also cost you less than the Infiniti. Its GM10 platform and 3.1 liter V6 engine provide similar performance and a bit more luggage space. Its stylish Targa bar also controls body flex better. Without a doubt, the Infiniti M30 did pick up a few compromises with its convertible conversion. However, it's the only convertible that exploits Japan's newfound luxury car status. That alone makes it an important product. To us, Infiniti's dreams of turning its M30 coupe into a convertible looks a little harsh in reality. But for its intended market, the Infiniti M30 convertible will still be a dream come true.